least be a little bit warmed up before you before you head out. Okay. Any um, questions? Yeah. Yes. When I first started running, um, the thing was to jog for whatever ten minutes or something, and then do this and type of stretch. stretching. Is that still the right thing to do, or is has it changed? Yeah. No, that's a great way to do it. I mean, a lot of high school team teams where you start out around the track or something. Or you, you know, run around the school, run around the track once or twice, and, and then stop and stretch. You know, here, you know, we're not going to like stop ten minutes out in the middle of the street somewhere <laughs> to stretch. But you know, that's ideal is to warm up. You know, warm up a little bit and then stretch. And that's why I say don't really do these as a stretch. The, the sun salutation is a flow, so you're moving one breath, move one breath, move. So you're not trying to stretch a cold muscle. You're flowing and warming up the whole body. That's what that's all about. So what I'll do is plan on doing that maybe next week. And our spin classes have ended here on Wednesday nights. So Wednesday evening, if anybody's interested in doing a, a yoga for runners class, just email me, let me know that there's some interest out there. Um, we can do that at like 6.30ish on Wednesday night. Uh, so just email me if, if there's any interest. I call it yoga for runners because runners are notoriously inflexible. <laughs> so everybody's got to start somewhere. Uh, so don't be embarrassed. Come to the class. And, and it's amazing how fast you will develop some flexibility and some strength doing yoga. It happens very quickly. Uh, so if you're incredibly inflexible, come and get started. You'll be a safer runner if you're more flexible. <laughs> All right, let's let's group up and cross the street just in mass so we don't tie up traffic too much. If we stay in the crosswalk out front, hopefully cars will not hit us.